Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. Kwasoko hails Obaseki, says US, UK at intervention on election rigors was timely. That's what we are talking about. That this man, it was not just timely, this man was favored. How come the US have ever been there? <laughs> yes, as long as since I was born, I was born to meet that. The United States of America is already a democratic nation over many years ago, hundreds of years ago. The UK, <laughs> no difference. And honestly speaking, they've been talking about, they've been speaking into Nigerian politics, but not as effective as it is this time. This time is by a mile with a difference. I can assure you 300%. I mean, they were so, the statements were so bold. They even went ahead, issued visa, visa sanctions that very week of election. And it was APC governors. What's the reflection of this? Especially with 2023, uh, you know, ahead. And APC wants to participate. If for nothing, they don't want to lose the presidency. So with all this in place, everybody was sitting up. When you have the like of air fire that has been sanctioned by the U.S., I did not know until the U.S. reiterated it again to say the sanction has been extended. Adam Sushumole. What about Bellu of, um, of Kogi State? What about uh, Kano State Governor, the dollar man, Ganduji? To mention but a few. And they told President Muhammad Buhari and the UK joined to say, you know what? <laughs> if this thing is not done well, <laughs> visa ban is just, a, it's just, a, it's just a step, it's just a tip of the iceberg. You see, your properties in the UK will be confiscated. Why? Because you will be, you'll be judged in the international court. So every hand swear on deck. Did you see that? Helicopter was sent to Edo State to oversee the airway, to see and to look out if there are, where you see people gathering and immediately there is, you know, intelligence to go to that place and dislodge every kind of gathering that may not, that may hinder free flow of election. Is it policemen? 31,000. Is, is it a waterway? Navy's officers were there. At the extent, to the extent that Oba of Benin had to say, is Edo State at war? Anyway, guys, Kosoko, you know, we came that week to the election. He was there a week to the time, and he came to stay with Governor Gordon Obaseki. I mean, he was the former governor of Kanu State. He came to stay with Governor Gordon Obaseki to felicitate with his brother, and it was it was amazing. And we all know about the victory. Those of you who are supporters, it was it was mind blowing. Let's get straight into the news and hear what Kosoko had to say. Kosoko hailed Obaseki says U.S. UK ad, ad, in, ad intervention on election rigors was timely. Former Governor of Kanu State Senate Musa, Senator Musa Kosoko has congratulated Governor Gordon Obaseki for his re-election on Saturday governorship election. The People Democratic Party chieftain in a statement by his principal private secretary Muhammad Ali congratulated the uh, state governor and. Um, in his re-election, that their hard work and effectiveness has paid, and the governor's hard work has shown that the people of Edo State truly love him. Kwasoko said the advisories of the United States and the United Kingdom to the election riggers and promoters of election violence to know that there will be consequences beyond the borders of Nigeria, they will be faced at the international law court for any form of violence was timely. And Governor Gordon Obaseke, I will say, was truly blessed. It was an action of effective it was an action taken with effect that took effectiveness and took it seriously. He added that the party victory was hanging mainly on the outstanding commitment, relentlessness, courage, and doggedness of the chairman of the campaign council, Governor Newsom Wiki of River State. He said, let me also thank the representative of the international community in Nigeria, especially the United States Embass um, Embassy in Nigeria, the United Kingdom Embassy in Nigeria, for their timely advice on the mechanism of election malpractices and perpetrators of election violence. Your advice, your advisories on election riggers and promoters of election violence to know that there will be 
consequences beyond the shores of Nigeria. In fact, international sanction for their behaviors and actions was very effective and timely. We thank you for your interest in the deepen, to deepen the democracy in our country. We really, really appreciate you. The good people of Edo State have spoken, and the true choice of the people has reflected. I therefore join all citizens of goodwill to congratulate the people of Edo State on the successful, peaceful election conducted, the global national election which held on Saturday, September the 19th, by the Independent Electoral Commission, INEC. I am especially congratulating the people of Edo State for their foresight in re-electing their hard-working and efficient Governor Gordon Obaseki to continue with the excellent work of development in Edo State. I am also congratulating Governor Gordon Obaseki. Oh, Obaseki, you are a strong man, and your able deputy, Philip Shaibo, like a brother, two of you stood together. Over the well-deserved victory, you worked very hard, and the people of Edo State have seen it. To, to, to give you a word, they came, back, came out in mass to vote you again in. You guys deserve this success and this election. Multiple elections have been done in this country, but there has been no one like this one. Congratulations once again. Thanks for all you have done for the people of Edo State. Well, there you have it. Kotoko was in Edo State and we reported live to you. Uh, his presence, as soon as he came in, you know, his presence spoke volume. And he went to the Hausa community to say, Kotoko has spoken and has, you know, uh, really spoken to the people of Edo State to congratulate them. I think the people of Edo State deserve these congratulations because they've done, I mean, massively and more than enough. They are, their, their vote counted. They spoke volume with what they did. It was a beautiful one. And um, to mention but a few, Edo State is happier and the people, you could see the mass turnout, you know, in the, in the parade, in the march, how the people came out in mass to, you know, celebrate with the governor. It shows that they have have a heart and they are genuinely interested in the re-election of their governor. So my people, there you have it. Uh, Kosoko, as um, that's a former state, uh, legal, um, Kano state governor, um, you know, uh, former uh, Kano state governor in uh, Kano uh, under the People Democratic Platform. Uh, he has become you know, uh, he has become the, uh, uh, the a chieftain now. You know, when you have become a governor and your tenure has finished, automatically the chieftaincy title is uh, is placed upon you. Okay, so they call them chieftains. <laughs> so that's why they call him a chieftain in APC. Well, this man, well, he's gone on and he's, uh, he's made a whole lot of statements saying uh, it is time. It is time actually, truly and really for, you know, uh, Edo State to move forward, that the victory was something else and uh, nobody could fault what has happened. It was something that was different from, you know, it's like no order and everybody could see it and actually speak that truly and really it was with a difference. Anyway, my people, this is what is happening. This is where we are today. I would like you to leave us a comment. Don't forget to like us, share, subscribe, click on the notification button so you can always get all our latest news. A very warm big thank you to every one of you for continuously being out there. We truly, really appreciate you. God bless you. Have a fantastic and a lovely day from us. It's bye for now.